What's up guys? Today's gonna be a review on the Blue 3 Nemo tankless diving system. A little different than what's usually on my channel, but uh, I got some pool jobs that came up where I gotta go to the bottom of the pool for an extended period of time, do some repairs. In particular, the first one's gonna be a drain replacement. The money's right on the job, so I said, you know what, I wanna look somewhat professional, and I went ahead and got this tankless diving system. You can get these on Amazon, so I'll drop that link down below. And this is not going to be a how-to. I'm just going to show you what's in the box and my first impressions when using it. So, here is the main unit. This is what she looks like. And this is the battery pack. It comes with one battery. I did go ahead and order the uh, a spare battery with it. So it comes with a spare charger and battery. And these come with, it's a lithium-ion. These come with a little dust cap on them, which it does have a rubber o-ring in there, so that's cool. Seems like it would be waterproof. And to check the battery, you just press this. I've already charged these uh, up. And the charger, when you plug them in, I let them go for about an hour or so, and that's all it took. But when you plug this in, uh, the red light will come on that it's charging, and it will turn green when it's all done. Now when you're hooking it up, you can't put it in backwards because it's keyed. So you put it in this way, and then thread that down go charger this is the flotational device to blow this up it has a lock nut but it seems you don't actually have to if you leave the lock nut spun all the way down when you push in on this you can blow it and then I guess when you're done blowing it you would actually loosen the lock nut yeah just like that so you loosen it out and that will lock the valve and prevent you from mistakenly pushing it in and uh, deflating it So that's fully inflated and then again if you don't want to bump it you just spin that out and yeah that's locked all right so to put this thing on uh, you have these four buckles so lining up you know they're male and female line those up appropriately and then push the buckles down into the hole or you know tuck them in, in between here and then you just work it over said to leave it about three quarters of an inch down and then hook the buckles up. Now we can slide our battery pack in, take the dust cap off first and once you get it in, hook the power up. Ooh, made some noises. This is our flag and top tube and get rid of the flag for now we don't need that but if you pop this cap off here uh, I assume that's where it gets its air from this is the dive harness what you can see is adjustable you just spin that down and you can adjust its location how much tail is coming out of it to the mouthpiece Let's get her over to the pool and fire it up. All right, as far as powering this thing up, you just leave that cable plugged in and then it's automatic. On this valve right here, if you can see, so this is how you would purge it. You press press this in and then on the other side, sorry about this terrible camera angles, guys, but on this side, you have a twist knob. So you just open this knob and now as you breathe in, you'll have uh, air. You'll hear the air compressor going and you can either breathe out of your nose or you can breathe right back out of this regulator. Now I'll say this thing doesn't have like as much air volume as you might want if you're down there, especially if you're getting nervous. So you certainly have to control your breathing, but uh, let's go down and I'll show you what I'm doing here. Again, not giving any diving instructions, but I ended up needing quite a bit of weight here. I'll weigh when I get home. It's gotta be at least 40 pounds to be able to hold me down on the bottom. And you know, your goggles will get uh, all fogged up too, but I uh, got my screwdriver and go on in.
Well, my first impression is good. This thing works great. And once you get used to the breathing, it supplies plenty of air. Let's see how much weight that was hold me down on the bottom of the pool too. So that's, yeah, about 30 pounds. Plus there was two five pound ankle weights too. So 40 pounds, and that was barely enough to hold me down there. All right, so as soon as you're done using this, you, you want to close this valve because if you don't close it and you, you bump this or knock it around, it's going to cause that pump to start going. And it says never run the pump for more than 20 seconds out of the water. So you'll go ahead and you, you twist this left to close it all the way, and that way that's not going to be going on mistakenly. To put the dive flag on, you just pull your snorkel out and then you feed it through and put that back in. All right, now I'd say probably the biggest downside to this device so far is the fact that it only has a 10 foot lead on it. I wish they would have made that a little bit longer, but my first thought was ah, I could extend that no problem. Uh, so what I did was cut the zip tie off of here and it pull this off and oh, let's see, so we got some wiring coming down here and I guess I should have expected that. Uh, then I wanted to see how the device worked. So if you spin this in the off position, uh, you push this, nothing will happen. And then you put it in the on position. It will work. So I took out the two torque screws. You pull this off and boom. This is how it works. You flip this and see it has a sensor right here. Now you can't touch it with anything. Uh, it won't go. And so how it works is when you pull a breath in, it sucks this little, little diaphragm out like so. Or if you go ahead and push this to purge it, you'll push that diaphragm out and inside of here glued behind behind this glue there's a magnet i stuck it on my fridge because i'm like how's this thing work and so in between these two it you stick a magnet and it will go there it goes so yeah that's how the unit works and if you wanted to extend it you would have to cut this wiring open and i'm not sure how many wires are in there or not and well, you kind of don't want to do that. All right, today's going to be putting this Nemo to the real test because I got four different pools we got to go in. This one's got four grates, and the other other ones all have uh, two. So I'm going to see how the battery life is on it. I got two batteries that are fully charged, and now uh, let's get to work. Just to show you how this goes on, you set it up like this. If you, if you need to change the length of this, like I think I was already saying in the beginning, you can uh, spin this on here. Oh, but I got the length set, so you just throw it over your neck and then grab this strap, bring it over, plug it in, snap her up. Now you want to make sure this isn't all cocked, so you want that straight and that you still have good range of motion and that you can fit this in. Again, if you got to spin this out, adjust its length, but that works good for me. All right, cool. All right, pool number two. We were, I was down in the first pool for like 15 minutes, ran into some problems. So she ran strong the whole time. This one is 10 feet deep. So it will test that this hose is good enough for 10 foot. And you can see the pool grates are the old style that are flat or, or flush with the floor. So the updated design, they want them to be elevated from the floor on this particular pool. What do you think, Frazier? That was what, 10, 15 minutes? That was uh, 25 minutes. 25 minutes on pool number two. Wow, yeah, that took a little bit. Holy smokes. We'll check our battery life here in a second. Let's go for one more little walk. Oh, shit, these are all fucked up. Pool number three has three drains. And uh, let's check the battery life on this real quick. Oh, let's see, so if, let's see if you can pull it out without detaching. A little tight, but you can 
Ooh, it says I only got one. It's red. So I'm gonna go down with that and just see how it works. Dang, that was like less than 10 minutes. Good work. How long was it? Uh, we went in what, 348? It's 356 right now. And you've been out of the water for a minute. Not bad. So and this thing's still going on one bar minutes. too. Yeah. Still going on that one bar, no problem. There, there underneath. Oh, there it is. And then shut off. All right, yeah. So when it goes, it pretty much goes. And last pull of the day. Two greats. Uh, well. We got the, the wavy man. What do you got? He wants us to go to the... Uh, Another one? He wants us to go pick up those greats. Let's see if this dead battery has any more charge after. We just drove about 15 minutes here. It does. Let's see how long it goes. There it goes. It stopped. Okay. All right. Fair enough. After it dies, if you just give it a quick little breather, rest, breather, no pun intended, but it, uh, it has more breaths to go. Anyway, I'm going to put the... the battery in but that's weird hey that's a wrap time to head home we're about a month later now and I have to say I'm very happy with my purchase now these are a little pricey so I'll discuss another option you can go with however the the commercial pull work I've done with this this has already paid for itself several times and I just really like that it. it's in this tiny little package it's, you know it's a backpack it's very high quality and it's just ready to go nice and compact however if you want to do uh, dives you can go on Amazon and get one of these for twenty three dollars this is all it is and it's it's the regulator that you can hook an air compressor tank up to now you do have to make sure you're using an oilless air compressor or one that's rated for breathing air. But this little puppy uh, works awesome too. So if you if, if I'm going to be going deeper, I have this for, you know, I'll have an extended hose for that and a, another compressor. Uh, and that, that works great. I also like that it doesn't have any wires going into it. And it doesn't just constantly pump air either. I mean, you can feed up to 165 PSI into this. And it only pumps air out as you're breathing. And it also has the purge on it too. You just push that and it'll purge out. So yeah, in the end, I'm really glad that I picked this this little blue three up though, and has everything you need to just go get it done. Again, it only goes 10 feet, so I'd, I'd really love to see a newer model that goes maybe 15 or 20 feet. But that's when you have to start being a little bit more careful and, and maybe get some training and know what you're doing, because uh, 10 feet, you know, you're not gonna hopefully not explode a lung coming up uh, from 10 feet with a, a full breath, although. You know, if you're going to go diving and, and doing this kind of stuff, definitely do a lot of research first because this is not a tutorial video by any means. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the Blue 3 Nemo, and I think it's a well worth purchase. And that concludes the video. So drop it a thumbs up if it helps you out in your decision of purchasing one, and maybe check out another video, any of that kind of stuff. I greatly appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you in the future. See ya.